Welcome to Cars and Coding. Today we are going to be checking the timing chain for stretch. Take the cap off of the inspection on the timing cover and take a look and see how many notches it is. And then we're also going to look at the values in VCDS and see what the difference is. Let's go check out the timing cover first and then we'll come back and look at the, the values. This is the plug here. This is the part number. Zero. 6H115418AA and you can almost see it from the top but you can see it from underneath so we're just going to go in with a pick and a screwdriver and pop it out oh there you can see it okay it's right right there that plug right there I'm going to use two hands and... Alright, here's how you get it out. Right here. Take a big ass screwdriver. Stick it up in there. Turn it. Alright, now we're going to take a look. All right, now I'll put the new one in. Right here. Pretty much just goes right in. I don't really have to do nothing with it. All right, now we're gonna check the uh, the values on the VCDS here. We're gonna start up the car. Give it a little bit of throttle. Yeah, see it always, this value always goes up after you hit the throttle once. So it looks like it's at 382, which doesn't seem like super high, but the, the adjuster is way out. So as you can see, we're probably at about uh, eight or nine uh, notches out on the inspection hole so on the on the timing chain adjustment and so that's not good because there's only um 11 i think 11 notches it can go to so the car has 104,000 miles it's time to change the timing chain which is unfortunate even though the vcds only says it's like minus 3.8 like it's supposed to be able to go up to like four or five six seven even ten i don't know but like, they're not in correlation, obviously. So we need to change the timing chain. Um, it has the original timing chain, but a updated timing chain tensioner. I had the timing chain tensioner replaced at 50,000 miles. It cost me like $800 uh, for a shop to do it. Um, preventative. Made it this far, 104,000. Not so bad, but we're going to have to change it. So that's not good news, but... Now you know how to check it. Maybe I'll make a video of me cha changing the timing chain, or maybe I'll just pay somebody to do it. Maybe I'll call Naptown Tuner and fly him down to Florida and have him do it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, well, some one way or another, I need to do it in the next two months. So until next time, check out my video over here, or check out this video over here. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Thanks. Alfie, you're saying.